بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب never refrain from denouncing extremism and it's imperative that we begin to represent Islam for the beauty and the beautiful religion that it is because it's the religion of Allah it's not ours to claim and ours to misrepresent and ours to uh, to to call to except that it is from Allah and it is his religion but it is a way of life that is prescribed for us as our purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al kareem I've not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. So if our purpose is to worship, then we have to begin to look at the acts of those people who are extremists, the Khawarij, the neo takfiris those people like the man Bin Laden, Zarqawi, uh, in the UK you had Abu Qatar al Philistini, you had Abu Hamza Misri, you had Faisal, and many, many others from before them and who will probably who will come after them. And that exists now, Abu Muhammad Maqtasi, and others that propagate something other than the true religion of Islam. They exhort people to bloodshed. They call people to rebel against the leaders. They met take fear of people for the major sins. Al Shabab in Somalia and others who don't want any stability. They don't have a vision even. They only want extremism. They only propagate violence without an ending. And even people who came before them from non Muslims that believed in violence and believed in propag and were extremists in their Marxist visions, in their uh, Maoist uh, ideologies, and so forth. They had a vision even. Even they had a vague vision. These people say they want the Sharia, but they don't know how to practice the Sharia. They don't begin with Tawheed. They don't begin with even the mercy and Rahmah that Islam came to teach their people. Every time they gain a little power, they propagate more extremism. And a beautiful example, look to what, ha what happens in Somalia in, in the areas where us Shabab controls. Look at to what the Taliban did, what is well known for many of their, their practices, instead of having wisdom, instead of implementing things in phases as, a, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran in stages, but yet these people were extreme. How do you kill people because you have music at their, their weddings? Or how do you do this? Where, where do these practices come from? So they may think they want good, Perhaps they want good, Allah knows their hearts. Perhaps they want Islam, some of these groups. But they do not follow the proper methodology and madhab. And that's why we have to go back to what the Salaf of this Ummah was upon. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een ala sahabata rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon the Salaf of this Ummah, those who came after the Sahaba. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. Qala Imam ibn Habira as Salafi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, Fi Hadith Abi Sa'id al Khudri, Fi Kital al Khawarij, Qal, Wafil Hadith, and Al Katla al Khawarij, Ola min Kital al Mushrikin, Wa Hikmatu Fihi, and Al Kitalahum, Hift Ras al Mal al Islam, Wafi Kital Ahl al Shirk, Talab al Ribh, Wa Hift Ras al Mal al Ola. One of the great Imams from the Salaf of this Ummah, he said in regarding the Hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu regarding the Khawarij, regarding fighting the Khawarij. And the Khawarij are extreme, extreme group that during the time of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, they fought and rebelled against the Sahaba and killed and fought the Sahaba and killed Ali ibn Abi Talib, Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu, wa Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu, 
and other than them. And so the Imam said regarding this hadith, the hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri, radiallahu ta'ala, anhu, he said, and in this hadith, it shows us the that fighting the Khawarij is takes precedence over fighting polytheists or pagans. And the wisdom regarding this is that fighting them preserves the uh, wealth of the Muslims and the, the, the wealth that the Muslims already own. And in fighting the people of polytheism, it is that you are with, with, contained within that fighting or one of the rewards of that fighting is you gain war booty. And he said, and preserving the wealth that is possessed by the Muslims takes precedence over that, showing us the importance of speaking out against, uh, uh, against these groups, these extremist groups that we mentioned, and that their innovation will be with us and continue to plague and harm our, commu our community. Waqala anbasatu anbasatu ibn Sa'id al-Kala'i rahimahullah ta'ala he said ma abtada'a rajulun bid'atin illa ghalla sadruhu ala al-muslimin wa akhtulijat minhu al-amana he said rahimahullah ta'ala one of the salaf of this ummah anbasatu anbasatu ibn Sa'id al-Kala'i rahimahullah ta'ala he said that a man, there's not a man that deviated a bid'ah or did a bid'ah, did a, an innovation, except that the Muslims, basically the love for the Muslims was taken out of his heart. And that security and peacefulness was taken away from him. Another one of the salaf, Rahimahullah Ta'ala said regarding this meaning the deviance of the Khawarij Qala Qala Abu Qilaba Rahimahullah Ta'ala Qal Ma abtada'a rajulun bid'atin illa astahalla as-sayf Abu, uh, uh, Abu Qilaba rahimahullah ta'ala said there is not a man that innovated except that he made the sword permissible letting us know that the, the, the salaf of this ummah and there's many many countless uh, narrations that verify this for us used to view of course heresy and bid'ah in religious innovation as something sinful and even a greater sin than, for example, committing adultery and so forth. Except for, of course, the Sharia punishments obviously are not the same. And they used to regard innovators as being those people and that you one of the characteristics of Ahl Bid'ah is that you'll find that they almost always believe in bloodshed, in spilling blood, in extremism, and rebelling against the leaders, and falling into the issue of takfir. So, Ayul Ahbab, do your best to denounce this extremism. Stay away from anything doubtful that calls you away from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Salaf of this Ummah. Look to what the Salaf said. Look to how the Salaf did dealt with the leaders. Look to how the Salaf de dealt with one another. And look to how the Salaf dealt with the people of innovation and desires. Don't befriend people who call to extremism. Don't befriend people who associate themselves with extremists and extremism. But rather, as a community, we need to begin to take responsibility and refute these people if you have the knowledge to do so. And avoid these people if you don't have the knowledge to do so. 
And we ask Allah the Almighty to give us strength and give us guidance and bless us all with ilm nafi and And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the communities everywhere with stability. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.